Hello, welcome to my channel. I am going to make a TARDIS banner, a Doctor Who banner for our um, Doctor Who celebrations. We've never really like done an actual Doctor Who like party type thing before. Um, but we decided that it might be fun to have some decorations and some Doctor Who food themed food for the um, the start of the new season. So um, currently it's September, but this probably won't go up till November. Um, so yeah, so I'm starting by making a banner. So I've got two lots of the paper, some of the papers from the Scrapping Fun Kits Doctor Who kit, some extra cuts of the bow ties from the kit. I've used the um, adipose file and cut a few of those. I have used the Cyberman file and cut them with that really cool mylar from Basil that I got from Craft Online. It hasn't fully cut, so I wanted to show you this. I actually attempted to cut five because I wanted a lot of Cybermen and only one completely cut and that was it went through the machine like eight times <laughs> on all kinds of different settings and it's because just the way the mylar is it's the the issues that I found when I was using the metal dies as well but you know it's nearly through so I'll just finish it off with some scissors and it'll be these two will be good but I love it this beautiful Mylar, it's just gorgeous. So Cybermen usually aren't chrome, so I'm thinking I'm just gonna rub some gesso just lightly over it, like a wash of gesso type thing to smudge that out a bit. Um, and I've got my banner pieces. I've cut out the letters to spell TARDIS on my silhouette. I've got two of the TARDISes from the kits. And then I've got this big assortment of like TARDIS blue uh, trims that were in my stash. I was actually given a container of fibers by someone that um, had decided to go minimalist with their scrapbooking a couple of years ago. So I've grabbed out all the blues that are close to being TARDIS blue and then I was given my friend gave me her Nana's sewing stash and so I got some TARDIS blue rickrack out of that and this was out of her Nana's stash it's a very small piece could be handy and then this was in a parcel that I bought many years ago so I've got a, a variety of trims ready for decorating and I am just going to play and build each individual piece without the letters first just to see what I like and work out where I want each bit and um, then I'll add the letters once I know where I want it and tie it all together. But yeah, I oh, and I've got the washi from the kit as well. I've got the rolls because at this point I'm still putting kits together so I just will use off the roll for myself and yeah so we'll see how I go I hope that this inspires you and I will see you at the end 